Hello everybody, I'm so excited to be doing videos. Okay, so today, basically, I wanted to do a book review on this book called The Power of Karma by uh, Mary T. Brown, right? Um, my beautiful friend Jericho actually introduced me to this book and she got it for me as a gift um, because she was like, hey, this is right up your alley, right? This is kind of the stuff you'd be talking about, right? <laughs> so. Thank you so much, Jericho. You're probably watching. Um, so if you don't really understand karma, um, you know, everybody kind of has a different stigma about it. Everybody kind of has their own different like definitions. Like some people have told me that they don't believe in karma because they kind of thought about it like say that uh, I punch somebody in the face, then my karma is for somebody else to just punch me in the face. <laughs> Right, so you you can kind of see how there's a million different kind of ideas about karma. So let me kind of just explain a little bit. Um, it's not gonna be a super long video, but let me kind of just explain a little bit about what I feel karma is. And I feel that karma is, uh, for every action in this universe, energetically, there is a reaction. So. For example, um, I was watching a movie the other day, I forget what it's called, but it's about a woman who uh, cheats on her husband who's been so great to her and everything and she's kind of being horrible to him, right? And uh, he finds out she's cheating and stuff and, um, you know, he also finds out that the person that she's been cheating with um, has HIV or some disease or whatever, right? That's horrible. Oh my God, horrible. But since over the years, this woman was doing all these foul things to her husband, um, you know, it's not necessarily her karma to get cheated on. But then what had happened was the fact that her husband left her and upon more medical examination, he did not, her husband she was cheating on, did not have the same disease that she had because there had been distance because she had been so cruel to him basically, right? But she ended up acquiring this disease, right? And then what had happened is her husband broke up with her basically when he found out everything, when stuff hit the fan and uh, she didn't want to be with the guy she was cheating anymore because she's like, how could he do this to me? And he was just horrible to her anyway. He like beat her up and stuff. So anyway, long story short is her karma was to lose her husband and lose, you know, and by the end of this ordeal, she had realized that she really did love her husband. She didn't love this other guy she was cheating with. Um, she loved the guy that she was really just dragging through the mud for no reason for years and she ended up losing him and she was so upset that she lost him she did not even know she's like I didn't even know how good I had it you know and now I do like she she got the picture right but it was too late it was her karma to lose her husband and to live with this kind of disease for the rest of her life right and uh, she's gonna have to explain to a new partner or whoever she's with in the future like uh, you know, this is my situation, you know, accept it or not, but it's going to be a little bit harder for her to maneuver in life, right? And this was her karma based on those actions. And it was very clear to me. So if you're in a situation and you're doing something that you know is not the best morally, right? We all have our different sets of like morals, blah, blah, blah. But if you're kind of doing a bunch of foul things to people, basically my definition of karma is the fact that it's going to come back, it's going to come back to you in one way or another, not necessarily the same exact action that you were doing, if that makes sense, right? So what I love about this book is it kind of explains um, karma, the whole idea 
um, of karma in this book resonates with me and this is what I know to be true about you know the laws of karma and whatnot she explains it perfectly and I love the fact that this book is actually full of examples because with karma this is such a convoluted uh, convoluted subject and I could really go on about it like forever and I'm sure you know anybody else that kind of like thinks they know what they're talking about with karma could um, but the best way is to kind of look at these examples like look at um, she is very good at putting examples um, into everyday life right so you're like oh like throughout the whole book even though I had a very I feel like I <laughs> had a pretty good grasp on what I felt like karma was before that she applied that to a lot of situations that I didn't even think about, right? So I'm like, oh God, you know, like, and you can be accumulating good karma or bad karma <laughs> based on every single action that you take, right? So um, right now, you know, say that there's uh, garbage on, <laughs> okay, actually, no, don't use that example. Say that I'm driving down the road and I throw some garbage out my window that would probably be kind of accumulating some negative karma, right? If I were to drive by on the side of the freeway and see that there was garbage, but I pulled over and just picked it up, that would be accumulating some good karma. Every single thing that we do, especially things that we say to people, our actions and everything, every single thing in this world is energy. So by every single action that you take, even your thoughts, you are sending out a vibration. And the vibration that you send out, you get back that vibration, right? So if you're doing a bunch of shitty things to people, you're going to have <laughs> probably a bunch of crappy things happen to you, right? That could be completely unrelated, right? But that energy... Uh, that's what you are putting off. So that is what you are attracting back into your, into your field. Um, same with good actions. If you're, you know, doing a bunch of kind, uh, kind things to people, you're, you know, taking care of people, you're being loving, you're working from your heart space, you are putting off a good loving vibration. And odds are, you're going to get that attracted back to you, right? So that's cool. Another factor that plays into karma that is a little even more convoluted is past life karma. <laughs> so if you want to research, uh, you know, karma, I definitely recommend this book. The Power of Karma, this explains a whole lot in detail, right? It, it definitely helps put things into a good perspective. Um, you know, if you are interested in kind of like past life stuff, depending on what you believe in, right? Um, I also plan on making some videos for um, some past life stuff and everything, right? Because that does play, in my opinion, play a big deal into karma, right? So... All right, you guys, I think I got my point across for this book review. I didn't mean for it to really be this long, but there we go. Um, go ahead and if you haven't already, subscribe. Hit that uh, bell notification button so you know when I'm posting other videos. Um, you know, comment, like the video, um, you know, anything below that, you know, any questions that you have, please ask. We can discuss them in other videos. We can discuss them down in the comment section. Um, you know, I'll also probably include my email address um, so you can email me, get a hold of me. Um, we can discuss things. I really want to make stuff uh, in these topics a little more modern. I want to make stuff in these top uh, stuff for these topics a little less like woo woo and more more modern, right? Because I think people have I've been seeing more and more lately how people have the wrong idea about new age spirituality, karma, past lives, channeling, tarot cards, you know, all these uh, subjects that have kind of been seeming a little more like etheric, a little more like magical and kind of unreal. 
And so I really want to bring a more scientific kind of um, perspective and I really want to bring a more modern perspective you guys so let me know if things are helpful for you if things are not helpful for you definitely let me know give me some feedback and I will see you all next time have a good day